Hi everybody, Paul here from Hill Country Rings. Today we're going to be making a Major League Bat inlay ring on titanium. But this is a little different. Usually my bat rings kind of start this way. But today we're going to be making this ring from wood that's embedded in some of these uh, trading cards. These are uh, trading cards with pieces of actual Major League game used baseball bat and this one's from Chipper Jones uh, from the Atlanta Braves so both of these so we're gonna use the wood from these cards to inlay into this ring so let's go to the shop alright this is a normal uh, titanium inlay ring core that I usually use something like that so that's that's pretty much similar but these are major league trading cards that have a piece of the that player's game used bat embedded in them and I've never really used these I've always cut up bats but I think the bats from this player is they're prohibitively expensive so I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can uh, open these up and uh, pull this piece of wood out and see if we can use these to inlay this ring. So the first time I ever tried this and uh, I'm not sure what our results are going to be so I'm kind of there's that piece there I just need to okay so it's just kind of like a piece of, uh, of uh, the maple but it's uh, stuck to this card it's kind of like a piece of, they've cut it so thin, it's like a veneer. And so hopefully I can get that to bend. I might have to either heat it up or, or soak it in water to get them to bend. Let's go ahead and put this one up too. And then I'll have these two pieces to work from. And they're about the same thickness. And, uh, this one feels a little more pliable. If I can get him off of there without, without cutting him up. There we go. Alright. So, looks like this is thick enough to inlay, but just getting it it's going to have to be done more like a uh, veneer ring, so let's go ahead and try to get that processed up. Alright, the, the inlay is just under 4 millimeters. It's about 3.93 millimeters. So what we're going to do, I set my calipers here, and I'm going to see if I can score this, this little piece here, and then if I can cut it to fit, to match. I can make a score line. So there's a little piece that can be inlaid. I'll make a couple of those and then see if I can get that inlaid all the way around there. So that uh, might work. Still got the sticky on it. <laughs> all right. Okay, I got some pieces now. I just need to do some fitting. Get them all fitted in there. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and clean this. Uh, I've scored up the inside of that ring to give a good uh, adhesion. And let's go ahead and clean them up with uh, denatured alcohol. And then we'll try to go ahead and bond in this wood, these little strips into this, uh, this core. See what we get. Huh. See, it always looks clean when you get these things, but there's always some machine oil or something like that in there. So it's good to get that out of there. All right. Let's start bonding. And this is usually where I uh, glue my fingers together. This is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be tricky. And I believe these are gonna be tricky. Hear that? Let him, let him stick, and then we'll stick him all down. So we'll let him stick first, and then we'll stick him on down. Got a little gap that we uh, need to uh, cut a little tiny little piece, little teeny tiny piece. We'll try to get him in that gap right there. And Oops. That's okay. Little piece right there. Just picking it up. God, these pieces are so small. Oh my gosh. My wiggly hands. So we get them in there. Right in that little gap. Right there. And just a little bit more. Dang it, he's already froze. Ah, he's go that way. All right, I got the uh, pieces kind of all in there and they're pieced together, but I'm gonna try to kind of like lightly sand, I mean just lightly sand before I fill in with the uh, filler. Just try to smooth it down a little bit. Just a little bit of smoothing. Going slow on my leg. Just kind of smooth down this wood a little bit because it's pieced together. So, let's 
shut up a little bit, it'll... Okay. I think that kind of helped. Maybe a little bit longer. Go ahead and tighten that up so that's not... Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead just, just a little bit more sanding. Just to get that... Uh, just a little bit smoothed down. Those pieces where they join. as good as I can get it without messing it up so all right all right first thing I do is put some thin in there oops put some thin in there just to make sure it's all good and bonded together soak into that wood and bond it down even tighter to that to the uh, core okay and I'm gonna a little bit of a this is a spray that kind of helps this stuff faster it's all right now we're gonna put the thicker finish on and this will build up and it will be level with or actually higher than the uh, metal so it'll give it a good basically it's some kind of coating this whole thing in epoxy is what it does okay sanding this guy down on the uh, on the lathe. We'll put him on the lathe then we'll turn him, sand him down until he's nice and polished. We might put another couple of layers of this on here but uh, then we'll get him uh, nice and smooth and uh, look really pretty. So let's do that. Alright, first we'll go ahead and sand him down with uh, 80 grit then we'll go up to 220. Go ahead and set my 
my uh, We got them shaped. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put maybe one more coat of the clear on him, the thin, and then I'll uh, sand him a little more and then uh, we'll go ahead and polish him. <sighs> Good and clean here. Clean up. There we go. Alright. And... This is kind of like what I do, what I do in a regular ring. I kind of uh, apply the finish. So just a finish coat here. Alright, now we're ready to uh, do the uh, polishing. So I'm going to start out with scratch free and then I'll do the one, the two, and then the three. This is uh, 
just Dr. Kirk's is polishing wax. It it's a uh, kind of a, a progressive grit, so it just becomes more and more smooth. So we'll start out with the scratch free, which is the most rough. Work our way down from there. Put a little bit on this, just a cloth, and then we just spin in. And we wipe it on, and then we wipe it off. Wax on, wax off. I think I saw that in a movie somewhere. All right, here's that ring from uh, the Batwood of Chipper Jones. And this is uh, from these little cards and I had one card left. So I'll go ahead and send this back to the customers with the, uh, with the ring, but uh, came out pretty decent. Not, uh, it, it does have some, some like bumps on it because in gaps where uh, the uh, pieces got fit together, it, you know, cause it wasn't one single piece. I had to sort of take that thin veneer and cut it up and piece it together on the ring but hey came out pretty fairly pretty so uh, if you would like a ring made from uh, major league bat wood uh, I've got lots of bats I do uh, you know lots of different uh, custom bat woods uh, also uh, the deck of a battleship the battleship Texas battleship North Carolina battleship New Jersey um, even like um, you know other custom woods or, or like heritage and legacy woods it'll do a lot of custom work uh, if you'd like to uh, have a custom ring made or from a piece of your wood let me know I'd love to do that I'd love to do custom work and I'd love to make a ring for you thanks everybody